everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with the Saturday vloggy thing. That's right. Saturdays where I kind of go all, all uh, blah blah blah, go on and tell you what's been going on throughout the week, maybe what's coming up, what I've been working on crochet wise and otherwise, and just give you sort of a summary of the week. Also, I wanted to show you, see my sweatshirt, my big old giant sweatshirt that I bought. It says be kind on it. It's a hoodie. It's got a big pocket in the front, but I had to cut it. I bought a 4X specifically so that it would be really big because I like, you know, big, comfy, cozy, loose sweatshirt. Well, I got it here and around the neck and the head, it would, would barely go over my head, the, the, the neck opening. And I left it for a while. I think, oh, am I going to sew it up? What am I going to do with it? And I finally said, whatever, I'm just going to cut it. Flannel doesn't like shred. So yeah, I've cut it. And if I want it later, I might do a little crochet thing on it or something. But for right now, and that's what we've got. We've got the hoodie. We got the hood. It's tie dye. It's cute. And it says, be kind. So I'll be kind. And I'm going to be kind and say, thank you for coming back. If you've been here before, if this is your first time here, welcome in. I promise I don't bite much. <laughs> I'd love it if you left me a comment and tell, told me, um, where'd you come here from? Especially if you do, where'd you hear about me? Did I just pop up in your recommendations? Did somebody say, yeah, you got to check this crazy woman out? What's up? What's up? Okay. Life-wise, y'all know I've been working like crazy. <sighs> 65 hours a week again. I mean, the paychecks look good from it because I'm an hourly worker. I'm not a salaried worker. So yay. I will take all of that that I can get, but it's exhausting. Uh, don't leave the house much because, well, I'm working and I work from home, which is good. Don't get me wrong. I'm kind of loving it. But sometimes I'm like, can we just go somewhere? I don't care if we just drive around. Let's just go for just a little while. Price of gas is high, but my car is pretty good on gas and we don't go anywhere. So, yeah. Um, Health-wise, normal stuff. My skin has been doing awfully show you you're not going to see anything weird it's just a shoulder but eczema stuff all there and look at this see this red spot no i did not just get like pink eyeshadow and put it there or something that circle is still there and i've got stuff here and i've got a little something here and it's like eczema around my nose if it looks like i got bugs hanging on my nose it's probably just dead skin because yeah that's a heck of a place to deal with eczema thank you Thank you, genetics. I appreciate it. Um, also, I'm looking down at my feet because my feet have, like the Pink Floyd song, instead of my hands swelled up, my hands felt just like two balloons, my feet feel like balloons. The right one worse than the left. I mean, just, and uh, don't worry, I go to the doctor this coming week for my regular appointment. I'll show them then. They'll probably stick me on some diuretics again, which I've done before for swelling and stuff. It's just really annoying. I mean, they say, I've heard people say, oh, when you turn 40, your check engine light comes on. Yeah, 40. That's cute. Okay. Um, I'll be 52 this year in just a couple of months. Whoop, whoop, two months to my birthday. And uh, <laughs> everything's falling apart. I'm just like, peace is falling off everywhere, you know, stuff stops moving. Yeah, all you youngsters out there, enjoy your youth while you've got it. Trust me, you don't have any idea. Because I remember my youth. I'm like, wow, if I'd have known I was going to live this long, I'd have probably taken better care of myself. Seriously, though. <laughs> So that's happening. Like I said, I do have a doctor's appointment next week. I go about every three months because of diabetes and skin issues and every other blasted thing that's wrong with me. So they just poke and prod at me a little bit and go, you're still living? You still got a blood pressure, right? You're good. On your way. Yeah, that is my life. Um, oh, my goodness. I was going to mention something and now I forgot. Oh, yes. Do not forget that I have got tasting videos. This past week, you know, I have been out of, um, I'm out of pepper powders to taste, which is a shame because those were fun. Yes, a little crazy sometimes, but still fun. I did have something different to taste this past week that I purchased for myself. 
that I actually went out and purchased it as a little package of because they weren't bad. I was pleasantly surprised. So check those out um, from this past week. Okay. And I did do a little bit of shopping. Plus, this is some stuff that I kind of missed from the last shopping trip. Oh, and part of my shopping trip, you won't see till the end of this video, there'll be a little slideshow. I don't know what this is all about, but there'll be a little slideshow that shows my plants during my lunch break, which during the week I get a one hour lunch break. I have been working on repotting stuff and schlepping stuff around and... Yeah, some stuff that doesn't show up in things that I've purchased is a uh, mulch, <laughs> four big bags of mulch, and uh, pavers uh, to put my plant stand on, a plant stand, and different pots for plants. So that's all happening, and that's a thing. You'll see that in pictures at the end. Now, I'm not going to do a separate haul video for this because there's just not enough, but I did want to show you. Oh. From an earlier Ollie's haul that I completely forgot about, just forgot to show you because it like fell behind something, I got these pens. Yes, I'm kind of a an office supply nerd. I can't help it. Ink Joy, Paper Mate, yes. But something interesting about this package is everything is in Spanish except for the words Paper Mate and Ink Joy. Now, if you knew the area that I lived in, there's nothing in Spanish around here, okay? If you mention tacos, they go, like Taco Bell. I mean, that's seriously. But this was kind of cool that I found this. And they're colorful, and they're paper mates, and they're ink joys, which I happen to like. Um, it says, Kilometrico, which is probably, they probably, maybe they write for a kilometer, I don't know. Tinto Ultra Suave, Boligrafo, and all the different colors, it's eight pieces. And they're very colorful, and I like that. Something else colorful that I purchased, some cardstock. Different colors. I got this uh, Pop Shelf. I couldn't think of the name of the place. Pop Shelf. And this was, I believe, $5 for this pack of paper. It's 50 sheets. They're a nice thickness. No, I don't know the, the thickness. It's 10 sheets of each color, it says. So that will be nice. And they're smooth and they're very pretty. You know me, I can't pass up stickers. Hearts and Stars sticker book. So if you get any mail from me, you might see some stickers on it or in it or whatever because it's what I do. Lots of different hearts in different colors and stars, like it says. I'm trying to find the other page that had all the different... Look, some of them have plaid on them and stripes and stuff. Super cute. Speaking of mail... Uh, if you ever look in the description of my videos, on all of my videos, you will see um, down near the bottom a postcard information. I do postcard swaps if you'd like to. Just look at that, follow the directions, and for those who are waiting for a postcard right now, don't worry, they will get out at the beginning of this week. I just haven't had time to sit down and write them. Okay. Something else that I picked up, this is a printed tote by Boy, and I did get this at Pop Shelf. And it says, the stash struggle is real. I thought that was super cute. This will be part of a giveaway during my birthday week. Aha, there it comes again. Birthday week in June, there will be giveaways. Okay. Uh, this will be lovey fodder. I just thought it was super cute. It was a bucket pop shelf. It's super soft though. And look, it kind of matches what I'm wearing today. Although the pastel colors, cute. And just a couple more things. I know I'm reaching over here where you can't see anything but probably the mess behind me. Um, got some more of these. I think I picked these up at Walmart, actually. These are these snap hair clips. Not for my hair. For balls of yarn. When you wind up a ball of yarn and you don't want it to come unraveled and come everywhere, clip it like it's your hair. Okay? Cheap. Like a buck or a buck twenty-five for all of those. I got a hair mask zingy and energizing it says for all hair types it was a buck at pop shelf but i'd try it oh oh for card making stuff and paper crafts and stuff this says easter on it but they're not all eastery necessarily type patterns i mean yeah the bunnies and the birds might be considered easter at least springtime there's butterflies there's i can't make out what that is because it's so light 
There are some cakes and cupcakes and stuff. That's any time of the year, y'all. I'm a fat chick. There's some stripes and some eggs, which of course Easter and some polka dots and stuff. And I just thought that was really cute. And this was five bucks, okay? And finally, last but not least, on the shopping for this week, nail files. Are they for my nails? Not necessarily. I mean, they can be. Mostly, these are to file when I get rough skin on my fingers and thumbs and I can't crochet because it's snagging everything. So I just take them and file it a little bit to smooth it off because I get such rough skin from skin issues. I mean, not just my face, it's on my hands, my shoulder and everything too. So I just gently file, smooths it out, and then I could move on with life. Speaking of life, crochet. What? All right. I have one, count it one, finished object this week. I know it's been busy. This crazy striped thing, and that dark color there, it's purple. Um, Judy at Witch Piece Crafts has the hashtag rock 2022 AU going on all year long. On the 1st and on the 15th, she will release either a genre of music or an album with an album cover or sometimes a combination of both. And you are to be inspired by it and do whatever you want with it and just make something and submit a picture, you know, to the Facebook group. It's all good. If you're not part of Facebook, you can email it to her. She's cool with that. Okay. Um, I am doing what will essentially become a big stained glass kind of a blanket. Everything is corner to corner and it's bordered in black so that I can join them together in black. And there'll be like panels of just these cool diagonal colors. This one, which was from the first of April is a uh, disco and the album cover that she showed with that was the album for Saturday Night Fever, which shows the floor that John Travolta's character danced on with all the lights and everything, all the different colorful lights. And this, that kind of inspired me to do this. You cannot really tell it from there. Or maybe you can. The black is sparkly. Yes, of course. Disco sparkle. Hello. So there's that. I finished that. The next one has come out because we passed the 15th. I have not started on it yet, though, because that was just yesterday. So let me toss that in the pile of those. Okay. Um, a, an ongoing whip that I've been keeping you up to date with, and I'm kind of proud of myself for keeping up with it, is my temperature blanket. I am so thrilled to pieces with this so far. Inner color is the low temperature, outer color is the high temperature, all joined in white. These are Amigo Yarns by Hobie in a DK weight. It's all acrylic. Um, just easy peasy little squares to do every day. And I did purposely make it easy for myself to keep up with every day. It has to be just a little bit just in case I don't have any time. That was all the way up till I was joined with this. Each row is 19 squares and then we're going to have 20 rows. Okay, this is the next row. You can tell it has been getting warmer. Those, that's a four, indicating April. That was the beginning of the row. We are getting darker with a lot of similar temperatures. Not all the same, but very similar. And uh, that is just kind of cool. I just do it every day. Zap it in there, and I'm done. And I am keeping up with it. Now, there are nights that I'm working on it at midnight, but that's okay. That is okay. My book is in here. Everything is in here, except for the big part of the blanket, which won't fit in there anymore. Oh, and in there, I'm writing it in my book. I'm writing it in there with my member exclusive, Lisa Ladybird Loves Ink Pen, for being a member of her channel. I also wanted to tell you about these. Look at that. Do you see how that's a cute little hank of yarn? Mm hmm Technically, it's their stitch markers. But I wear them as earrings because they're on sterling silver lever backs. You know where I got them? From Miss Lisa. That's right. She makes them. She can make them to order for you from, she's got like every flipping color you could imagine. Or you can just buy off stock that she's already got made. Yeah. She'll be linked below, above, wherever I stick the thing. Just make sure you check her out. Go talk to her about it because she'll be happy to send them to you. And postage from England on these is not much because they're very light. So that's not that bad. Just, just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Anyway, there, there's a meme involved there. Um, and finally, crochet wise, there is another crochet along going on because I needed another crochet along, right? 
<laughs> Hashtag Yarnivore's Monthly Theme. This month, which is when we started it, because that's when we just decided to do it, um, Miss Neva at Manic Mama Musings is hosting it. And this month, the theme is April Showers. You are to make something that inspires you to April Showers. Now, those of us that are participating, the, the Yarnivores, as it were, we are not eligible for any prizes. And the prizes are not huge. This is just, this is little. This is just for fun. Get your name in there and have a blast with it, okay? Um... If you send your picture to me of something you've made this month inspired by April showers, I will send the information on to Neva and you go into a hat or on a spinny wheelie or however it works, whichever. And you get if you get chosen, you win something. Not only that, all the ladies that are participating will be listed down below. Okay? And I only say all the ladies because all the, the channel holders are all ladies in this little group. It's just how it worked out. Okay? No discrimination here. But you can go to each one of them and send pictures to each one of them and get your name in all those times. So just do it. I am challenging myself this time. I'm following a pattern. What? I know, right? Um, this is a Crochet Now magazine that I received from Lisa Ladybird Loves in a Happy Mail. This is from, it's issue 77. Does it say when it's from? Well, of course it doesn't. That would be too easy. But you can look it up if you really want to. I am sort of making this. This is for a makeup pouch with a zipper. I'm not doing the whole pouch thing with a zipper. I'm just going to stuff it and make it a little, you know, amigurumi stuffy. And they're using three-weight yarn. I'm not. I'm, I mean, I'm adapting it, but I'm following all the stitches, y'all. I followed a pattern. And no, it's not a, quote, difficult pattern, Okay. This is one side of it, of the little cloud. Look, it's cute. I'm working on the other side that matches it, and then I'll put the rainbow in between, and then I will stuff it and put a face on it. Not necessarily in that order. Yeah, so that's the thing that I'm doing. That's what I've been inspired by for April showers. What will inspire you for April showers? The month that I will be hosting is August. I have not come up with a theme yet, but we'll get there. Every month it's somebody different. Every month it's a different theme. We're just having fun with it. It's an excuse to make something else. And this is a good scrap buster. Okay. So you take care of that. What else do I want to make? All the things. I look at my yarn and it's going, use me, use me. And I want to. But there's this thing called time or my wrist, you know, whichever. And I, I often run out of it. Like right now. I am 18 minutes into this video, which means it's almost time for me to go back to work. I just never have time. Saturday's lunch break is only 30 minutes. So I run out of time quickly. Yeah, and easily. So I like to dawdle too. But there will be no dawdling today. There'll be work and then uploading. Editing, then uploading. There's a process, I promise you. In my brain, it's here, there, and everywhere, but there is a process. So, there you go. Anyway, be kind. I will see you very, very soon, hopefully. Stick around for the, the slideshow at the end with the plants and maybe a surprise. You never know. And uh, <laughs> be kind. Have a great rest of your weekend. Bye, y'all.